Peter McWilliams many times. I found him to be a very creative, very funny, very talented man, and very ambitious. Here's a guy who has written three best-selling books, and you know what? He published them himself. High atop the hills of Laurel Canyon overlooking Los Angeles, you'll find the home of Peter McWilliams, and you'll find the office of McWilliams Company, Prelude Press. McWilliams is a self-made self-publisher, a writer who publishes and promotes his own books. Oh, hello. Would you like to own your own company? Well, this book here will tell you how. Call 800-LIFE-101 and we'll give you all the information. Actually, McWilliams' approach to his business is similar to his outlook on life. Find the humor in it and make it fun. Of course, that is not easy to do when you write a book on computers. I'll be writing something and then I'll make a joke. And I'll write the joke down just to entertain myself. And I fully intended to take all the jokes out because after all, these were about computers, so they had to be serious. The original idea was simple. McWilliams saw that the personal computer could revolutionize the business of writing and publishing. So, he wrote a book called The Personal Computer. It was a kind of user-friendly book, and yes, it did include his jokes. Then it got worse. I was looking through books of illustrations, and there was this mechanical rabbit. The mechanical rabbit was this old Victorian woodcut of a rabbit with a rubber band motor inside, and all these A, B, C, D, E things pointing to how a mechanical rabbit works. And I thought, wouldn't it be funny to put a picture of the mechanical rabbit in a book on computers and say, this clear diagram should illustrate how personal computers work. From there, it was downhill. Uh, it, was, it was one stupid picture after another with absurd captions. And I took it into a, a publishing company, and the editor looked at it, and he said, what's that? And I said, well, that's, that's humor. And he said, what's this? And I said, well, that's a joke. And he said, he picked up the manuscript by an edge as though it was a dead rat. He handed it back to me and he said, it's just full of it, isn't it? <laughs> Undaunted, McWilliams listened to his own advice and published the book himself. He then went on to write two more books, handling everything from editing to distribution. And it is no coincidence that McWilliams broadened his focus at this point, beyond computers, to life itself. I believe that creative people need to create their own creative outlets. They need to be creative enough to create an outlet for their own creativity. So the people who I know who are actors, they always worry about who's going to employ me. I say, well, put on a play. The old Judy Garland, Mickey Rooney tradition. Let's, let's put on a play here. I started a publishing company here. Getting rejection notices from publishers may just have made McWilliams more determined than ever. The book just before the current book, which was called You Can't Afford the Luxury of the Negative Thought, that was turned down by 20 publishers. And it went on. I published it myself. It went on to sell 200,000 copies. And then we did... Life 101, which was not turned down by publishers because they, I didn't even bother sending it around. I figured, why, why waste three months getting rejection letters? In that time, I can have it on the bookshelves, which is what I did, and that became a New York Times bestseller. Of course, success comes with its own responsibilities, and he admits it has been a lot of back-breaking work over a PC. I couldn't possibly go on a three-week vacation out of the country somewhere. I have to be here. And I wouldn't work... I've been working now for years without a vacation of any kind. I wouldn't work for somebody else for years without a vacation of any kind, but here I am. I'm, 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 this is making me depressed. I, <laughs> I, I quit. I've done enough PR. I'm leaving. <laughs> Don't worry. He's not going anywhere, folks. Believe me, he's not going anywhere.